What is up guys, my name is Alex and today I'll be teaching you the ZBL U6 subset. So a quick explanation for ZBL, essentially in CFOP, when you have your F2L done, so when you finish F2L, uh, you would normally do one algorithm for OLL to solve the yellow phase, and then one more for PL to solve the entire cube. Now for ZBL, when you have your cross uh, done for OLL, then you can just do one algorithm to solve the entire cube. Now essentially what ZBLU is, is a subset for ZBL, and it's where you get this OLL for your ZB. Uh, and where you would normally do this algorithm. And ZBLU6 is another subset of ZBLU this time. So how you recognize whether you have ZBLU6 or not is by looking at these two stickers. And if these two are matching, and these two stickers, and if these two are diagonal. So if these two criteria meet, then you have ZBLU6 and... Uh, as shown before, you can just do one alg to solve the entire cube. So in this video, I'll be going through the algorithms, the finger tricks, so the execution pretty much, and the recognition for this for these ZBL cases. And if you don't like some of the algs shown in this video, then you can actually go to the description down below, and this will take you to speedcubedb.com, and there you can pretty much pick out um, other ZBL cases if you like to. Alright, so this is the first case, so this was the one I used as an example before. So how I recognize this is pretty much just everything is solved except for two twist corners. Now we actually don't twist these corners like this because that's slow. And what we do instead is from this angle, uh, we just do a anti soon and then into a lefty anti soon And that's all the cube. And now faster. Now for the next ZBL case, um, so how I recognize this is it's just pretty much an H perm as you can see. So if I were to do an H perm here, then it would be this case. Um, oops, sorry. Now obviously we don't do that because that's slow. Now what I do instead for this case is this. So how I would memorize this is first of all take this pair out, and then take this pair out, but so that it's split. Now insert this pair and set this pair up like this and just insert and that's all the cube. So for the next DBL, how, how you recognize this is if you look from this angle, it's pretty much a GA perm. So as you can see here. And for this CBL from this angle, what you do is just righty soon. Uh, and then cancel into back soon. So, like that. So, for this DBL, this is pretty much just from this angle a GC perm, as you can see right here. And for this uh, ZBL from this angle, what you do is back soon and then cancel into soon. Alright, now for the next ZBL, how I recognize this is this is just pretty much a UA perm as you can see. And this is soft, of course. Uh, now, the ALK for this, it's a bit tough to explain, but pretty much what you do is you do a back soon, and here instead of ending with R prime U2R, uh, you end with R U2 R prime, and then you insert this pair like this, and you insert this pair. Alright, now for this CBL, so this is also a U perm, but this time it's a U B perm as you can see. The same we're gonna do it from the front. And uh, this is pretty much the same output from the front. So you just do a right soon, but instead of ending in R U2 R prime, you end in R prime U2 R, and then insert this pair and this pair. Alright, so for the next ZBL, so how I recognize this is from this angle, you can associate this with many things, but I recognize it as a T perm from this angle. But you could also just recognize this as a U perm or whatever, and just like kind of ignore this. So pretty much a T perm from this angle. Now what you do for the ZBL is from this angle, you, you do the same beginning as for this OLL, which goes like this, in case you forgot. So you do the same thing, but here instead of doing R2, you do R prime, and then you do U. Now you do a back insert for this pair, and now you just insert this pair like this. 
So the next CBL, um, we executed it from this angle, and so I recognize this is from this angle. This kind of looks like an ARPA, as you can see. And what I do from here is, first of all, a back anti zoom, so like this. And then a U, and then just this zoom. Alright, so for the next CBL, this is pretty much again a T perm, but this time you recognize it from this angle. And this is just pretty much trash. Uh, so from this angle, you do uh, pretty much this all L, but from the back, which will look like this. So like this, and then here again, you don't do a R two. Uh, you don't do a R two, sorry. And so you just do an R, uh, then U prime to bring this pair over here, sexy, and then insert. Okay, now for the next EB, so from this angle, this kind of looks like an R-perm again, like for the last one. Uh, so here, from this angle, we first of all do an anti soon and then just solve this soon case. Alright, so now for this CBL, so how I recognize this is pretty much just this big block here, and then this block on the right. And how I execute this is, first of all, back soon into anti soon from here. And that's also ZB. And then this CBL, so this is the same thing but with the block on the left. So from here I hold it in this angle, and then I do a soon into anti soon from here, and that's also ZB. So yeah, so that's the video, and if you enjoyed it, then I guess just like and subscribe. I don't know, comment if you want to. Maybe also comment some. But Alex said you find better. There's something. So just a little speck on my cube here. And yeah, so that's the video.